A very good day to you authors. Today's video, one goal. How do you market your book on Amazon? Now, by marketing your book, I mean, how do you pay Amazon to put your book in front of more readers? Well, where do we start? Very first thing, everything I'm going to tell you today and more is going to be found on an article on my blog. I'm going to give you the article link at the bottom of this YouTube video. So don't worry if the video loses you a bit. I have everything in writing for you on my blog whenever you want. Right, guys. So some things to know up front is that paying Amazon to advertise your book is only available for certain authors. First off, your book must be written in English. Secondly, you have to be opted into KDP Select. Now, KDP Select is where you, the author, have promised Amazon, I won't tell my book through anyone else. And that is to say your ebook. So you promise Amazon exclusivity for at least 90 days, and then you get some cool tools. This is one of them. Okay, where do we start? So I'm the author. I've got a book published. I've opted into KDP Select. This is kdp.amazon.com. This is where all the magic starts for those of you publishing books on Amazon. First, we sign in. I've had a very kind author who's agreed to let me use their account details. So this is where you log on. Username, password. Great. What we're going to see here is the bookshelf. Most of you authors should know exactly what you're looking at. You've logged in. This is where the control center of Amazon happens for authors. So as you can see, I've got a book published. It's called Tucker Tucker. Um, the book's live. So it's live right now on Amazon. If I had to view the US link, I've got the book live. It's selling at $6.99. The reason we have the increased price as well because we have VAT. So my specific country is 14% VAT or general sales tax for those of you outside my country. And that's why I'm seeing $7.97. I'm seeing paperback because this author also has a book published on CreateSpace. So when you publish a paperback on CreateSpace, it links up to the same page and says, well, would you like the ebook or would you like the CreateSpace paperback? Okay, so this book is is currently got a sales rank of 809,000. It's not moving too fast, guys. That's kind of why we're doing this. That's why we want to pay Amazon to promote the book to increase that sales rank, which means the number gets lower. We want to hit that number one spot. I know you do. Okay. So we're back on the dashboard. The book's live. Um, it's opted into KDP Select, which is why you're seeing promote and advertise. If you see something different, it means that you are not enrolled in KDP Select. You need to see this button. Um, otherwise, it means your books are not opted into the KDP Select program. Remember, when you're opted in, guys, you're promising Amazon that you'll be a good author and not sell your ebook on your own website or any other competitor websites like Apple or Barnes & Noble or Kobo. Right, guys, are you ready? Step one, promote and advertise. We click the button. Okay, so this is where the KDP Select control center sits. So our book's enrolled. We can unopt it from the program. We can take it out the program. Uh, you have to take it out the program. If you don't, if you think that Amazon will ask you again at the end of 90 days, no, it won't, guys. You have to opt out of the program if you want out. Okay, so this is where you could opt out. Here's where you could either discount your book or make it completely free for all the readers on Amazon. This is where it happens through this run a price promotion option. So you can only do it for five consecutive days. Remember, just don't forget that, guys. Okay, so we can make it free or we can make it discounted for a couple days. That's how we do it. But that's not what we're doing today. Today, it's how to pay Amazon to promote your book. So we click on create an ad campaign. Beautiful. Now, what you guys are noticing is that, well, this doesn't look like Amazon. You're right. So this is now the Amazon Marketing Services umbrella, which is why the colors look a bit different and the name changes. Amazon Marketing Services. So first option in front of you is, well, do you want to target by keyword? Or do you want to target by a product or an interest? Now, targeting for a book, guys, I'm going to make this whole tutorial as simple as possible. Now, what's easier? Targeting and trying to guess which keyword might suit your book? Or saying, well, I know this book is like other books, so let's 
target readers of those other books. Now, you've guessed right. The easiest way is not to try guess keywords, but rather to say, well, my book is like these other books. Let's target those readers. Okay, so first we're going to select this product display ad. First question Amazon asks us as well, what book? So obviously on this profile, we only have one book. However, don't forget that it must also be opted into KDP Select for it to appear here. So we can see that it's automatically selected this one. That's obvious. Okay, so do we try target by category? So say the readers of self-help, the readers of spiritual, the readers of true stories. So this book, by, by the way, guys, is a true story that has a spiritual message at the end. So I compare it in my head to Shantaram and Celestine Prophecy, for those of you who know those books. It's very similar. It's a true story um, about a criminal who then gets locked up in prison. And at the end, it's got a very spiritual, very uplifting message. So we could target readers of self-help, you know, of, self of personal transformation, of metaphysical books. Not bad. Um, I want something more specific. I really want to get to the right reader I know is going to like this book. And as I've mentioned, there's two other books I think are very similar to this book. So I'm not going to say by category or by interest. I'm going to say by product, which in our case is obviously a book. Now, what products do you want to target? I'm going to target two books specifically, here, Shantaram, which is a great story, and Celestine Prophecy. Both of them are great stories. I recommend you guys read them. So I'm going to search for the title of Shanta Ram. Okay, now there's quite a few options. Obviously, not all of them are what I want. So let's make sure we pick the right one. So I'm just scrolling down Shanta Ram, but only four reviews. I don't think that's the one I want. Shadow, no. Shanta Ram, German edition, nope. Shanta Ram, a novel. The reason I'm going to pick this one, guys, is I can see it's got the most amount of reviews, which means this is a book everyone's buying. So I'm going to add this as an option. Do you see it popped up to the side here? So targeting is now targeting one product. Here it is. Okay, second book I want to target is The Celestine Prophecy. So Celestine Prof, oh my spelling is shocking, Prof SC, great. Okay, Celestine Prophecy. Now, this is obviously not what I want. Once again, guys, I'm looking for a large amount of reviews to know that I got the right book. 56 reviews, um, Celestine, ooh, uh, 13. 8, 319, okay, but that's a DVD format. Celestine Prophecy, that looks better. Paperback, 1,564 reviews. I don't think I will find a better book here. Looking at the reviews specifically. Okay, here's another one with high reviews. But I think that first one we saw, guys, I think that first one we saw was probably the one we want to use. Okay, we here, paperback, we're adding this. Okay, guys, so we've got our book. Our book is opted into KDP Select. We then have said, well, target readers who like these two other books. These other two books, in this case, are Shantaram, Celestine, Prophecy. Let's scroll down. Okay, so tick box. Automatically target readers who buy things that are very similar. Ooh, guys, this is a tough one. It's going to spend extra cash. Do I want that? bought together with your book. Rick, they say recommended, you know what, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll leave it ticked. Great. Campaign's name. Does it matter so much? I don't think so, guys. Let's leave it what it is. Cost per click. How much do you want to pay every time a reader clicks on your advert? Wow. So it's saying, well, average between 50 cents and, sorry, 40 cents and 49 cents. Interesting. Okay, let's guys, let's pick a number. I don't think there's a right and wrong answer here. If we don't get the results we want, we can come back and play. Bottom line, that's always how this thing works, is let's pick a number, measure the results, and if we're not happy, we come back, we change. Campaign budget, how much money do you want to spend? Now, this isn't dollars. Obviously, most of you watching us are American. Where I come from in South Africa, we use RAND. The RAND is a lot less strong. So I'm going to quickly do a calculation to make sure that I am not spending too much. Okay, so the minimum, obviously, guys, one hundred dollars. So one hundred dollars in South African rand is equal to sixteen hundred South African rand. 
Okay, I'm just doing some quick math. Okay. Let's do $110. The number doesn't matter, guys. It's more important that you just get into this. The minimum is $100. Um, just get into it. See what it's like. Once you understand this, go ahead and you know up the amount you want to spend. Obviously, common sense, the more books you have, it's better. If you have one book, I wouldn't normally recommend you do this on one book. Um, this author was very, you know, persistent that they wanted this. Um, but try have more than one book. That way, when people buy and and you're spending money, um, you're spending money across a range of books, which has, you know, just more potential for you. So so try only spend money on something like this. Once you've got say three or four books out in the market. Next question, guys, is well, what date? So today is the 23rd. Let's run it for two weeks. Okay, so we're on the 23rd today. So 30th and the 7th. Okay, so ooh, I've done it wrong. So today's date, this side now, to July the 7th. Roughly two weeks, guys. Obviously, this doesn't matter uh, that much. So do we want to spend the total money? Now, the total money for us, you can see, sorry, here is $110. Do we want to spend $110? as quickly as possible every single day um, try to get as many people to click or do you want to space it out now I'm in South Africa my time zone is different so if I say run as quickly as possible um, is that American time is that UK time um, I don't know so to be safe I'm gonna say well spread this out what does it say um, as quickly as possible configured it doesn't give you much information about which time zone it might be using. Generally, it's going to be American time, but to be safe, I'm going to say, no, nah, let's let's rather stick it on uh, evenly. Okay, very important. We have 50 characters for a headline, and we have 150 characters for a body. Now, as a matter of interest, guys, this is a lot more than Facebook gives you. So I've just advertised the same author's book on Facebook, and Facebook gives you a 20 character count for the headline, so you can use it up to 20 characters. Now, characters, guys, not words. A character is a letter. The text, Facebook only allowed up to 90, so this has given me more text to play with in Facebook. However, to keep this as simple as possible for you guys and not to confuse anyone, I'm going to use the same text. So, where it says headline and where it says text, I'm going to copy what I've had on Facebook. Guys, this is probably the most important part, aside from the targeting um, of your campaign of your advertise um, of your advertising campaign. What is your headline and what's your text going to be? I really recommend that you get input. You pay for a professional um, to generate you some content. A lot of authors struggle to sell. That's the bottom line, guys. So when you're creating your headline and your text, you really need someone who knows how to write good sales copy. Okay. So headline. I'm going to use exactly what I used on Facebook. Now the headline, guys is based on that book I told you about. It's very similar to the book Shantaram. My headline is going to be Love Reading Shantaram. That's, it's, it's short, it's catchy. My body text, which I think was 90 characters, simply reads terror, violence, torture, acceptance, enlightenment. By the bestseller Taka Taka Na. Taka Taka, guys, obviously the name of the book. Okay, so this is what I used, but you can see that I've got characters left, which means you can be a little bit more detailed um, in Amazon than you could have been on Facebook. Great, guys. Look at that. Does that not look beautiful? So picture of the book, book title, author, my text, and the learn more. Now, the learn more naturally is going to take you to buy the book. Now, th these buttons are just showing you what your ad looks like in different spots. Okay. This should make sense to you guys. So depending on where exactly it appears, it will look different. Okay, so what now? So we're advertising on Amazon. We're targeting two other books. We've given that a name, doesn't matter. We've picked an amount we're willing to pay per bid. And our, uh, when I say bid, sorry guys, cost per click. So you're paying per click of the reader. Uh, the budget is 110. Spread it out evenly. Start and end dates. Great. Save as draft. Cancel. I'm happy, guys. Submit. Okay. Now, while this is busy submitting, guys, you have to know how you're going to pay for your campaign. So, before I made this video, I went to the payment settings under this author's profile 
and I listed my MasterCard down. So naturally, um, Amazon wants you to list, for example, a MasterCard, a Visa card. Um, it asks you the typical questions of card, card number, um, name on card, exp expiration date. Um, so just know that you have to have that card ready um, when you want to start advertising. Great. Guys, I think it's done. Pending approval, which means Amazon's now going to take a look and make sure they're happy. Let's click on View Advertising Campaigns. There we go. So this is a great summary. It shows us that we've done our job correctly. It shows us that it's being reviewed by Amazon, which is exactly what we wanted. So for authors now, the campaign is going to run for two weeks, spend a bit of money, get in front of new readers. Obviously, the most important guy, uh, bit for you authors is now to monitor the results. Log on each day. See how the sales have been. Um, you could potentially come back at any time and update your budget and update your cost per click um, to get in front of new and different people. Thanks a lot, guys. It's been great being in front of you. Let me know if you liked the video.